I like to call it uh, exploration and in my passport it says I'm a travel writer but actually I'm an expedition leader, not an adventurer. And leading expeditions is my way of making a living. I got married 40 years ago to um, a wonderful lady who was into expeditions herself and so together we plan to break world records. <laughs> Early on, we realized that um, some of the polar firsts had been broken before we came in on the scene. And what was left was very difficult, obviously. So we found ourselves facing doing the first polar expedition around the whole of Earth, meaning to do the first circumnavigation of Earth's surface, crossing the whole of Antarctica and the whole of Arctic. And it took us seven years of permanent work, working every day for seven years unpaid to get the sponsorship and the knowledge and the training ready for that. And the most difficult bit of all was the Arctic Ocean. Antarctica is difficult, but you can only fall into crevasses. The Arctic, you can permanently fall into the ocean, which can then go over the top. So it was very problematic indeed, and that was why nobody had done it before. A lot of our expeditions have been hot as well as cold, and Scenic Eclipse will be doing hot and cold expeditions. In cold expeditions, the clothing is everything. And don't always go for the hottest possible thing, because you might be taking exercise and you want layers, as you've probably heard many times before. Layered clothing is absolutely vital, and the right goggles is absolutely vital. And never forget covering your nose under the goggles. I know that there has been some controversy on climate change and so on, and the Antarctic is quite clearly an area where you get people who have been on these remote tours, gone back and become prophets, proselytizing the way of not polluting the world. So I'm all for getting people who behave very well, and all the ship's bosses make them, if they're going to a penguin colony, behave so that they won't disturb the penguins, no smoking, all this sort of thing. So no, I'm all for it. Yeah.